Do you have wonderful systems in place in your business so that every week feels calm and consistent? Do you have a beautiful, easy flow in your business? Or do you feel as though you are constantly battling chaos every single week? If it feels somewhere between chaos and calm, then actually what you'll find is systems are the answer that you are looking for. Systems are what bring consistency, continuity, momentum, natural ease and flow. What I find though is a lot of people resist putting systems in place in their business. And I see a lot of different reasons for this. Sometimes it's because I'm not very technical. It's all a little bit too complicated. I haven't got the time to work out which is the right system for me. I also very often hear people talk about wanting to be um, free, to be flexible, to be relaxed, not wanting to be pinned down and actually saying, you know, I am a creative. I'm somebody who likes to be flexible. That's the way I work best. Or I hear people who were really frustrated by the rigidity of systems when they were an employee. So they fight them in their own business. But all of that is essentially shooting you in the foot because systems are there to bring calmness and to create continuity in your business. Then when you've got that, you can build the flexibility and the creativity on top of that. So systems will help you put all the beautiful foundations in place. And from there, then you can build out the business to be a real reflection of you and to build in flexibility, creativity, freedom and all that kind of stuff. So do systems need to be technical or complicated? No, they don't. Do they need to be perfect? No, chances are they probably never will be perfect because business never stops changing and evolving. Um, I had a fantastic example of the importance of systems myself when we started to come out of COVID because my planning days, which I have been running every three months since something like December 2008, I think was the first one I was involved with. So I've run them every three months since 2008. So I've run, that's a lot of them, loads. Um, That's a technical answer, loads. Um, But my system had kind of um, fizzled out a little bit. I did have a very clear, very well documented system when I had a particular VA working with me on that area. Then when that switched to somebody else, the system sort of fizzled out a little bit and it had just got a little bit blurred around the edges. It didn't really matter because I'd run so many of these that so much of it was just natural, instinctive and known anyway. However, then we had good old COVID and um, I didn't run a face to face workshop for around 18 months. And then when I came to run my next one after 18 months, I absolutely felt like I'd never done this before, had no clue where to start um, and was properly chasing my tail, even down to the absolute basics um, like turning up with batteries that were flat in my clicker, batteries that were flat in my speaker. And, you know, for the first half hour, we were just scurrying around like mad things, trying to work out how and where to charge everything. Um, But of course, since then, I have rebuilt the system. Um, It's now all documented in one place and it's got lots of lovely reminders um, through a system called ClickUp that I use. But I'm still finding that there's extra things to add on. Just today, there's something I thought about that I always do for my planning workshops, but it's not in the system. So it's not actually that consistent about when it gets done. And if I add it to my system, then I'll do it sooner and potentially do it better. And that will actually help with my marketing for my planning workshops and maybe get more bookings. So systems don't need to be complicated. They don't have to revolve around IT. It could be as simple as a checklist or just a list of actions. It could be a timeline. It could be a simple video. Um, An Excel spreadsheet is a really good way to start with a system. So three key tips I would give you around systems is they do not need to be complex or technical. So don't worry about that. Um, They do not need to be all done at once. What often puts people off is, you know, I've got to build this whole thing. So if you think about my planning workshops, thinking every single thing that could go into that workshop must be documented, otherwise it's not a system. Whereas actually you can start with 
um, what do I do about my email list in terms of my planning workshops? Then think about my one-to-one -one clients, then think about the masterminds, then I can think about the venue details, then I can think about the content. So you can add the things in step by step. It doesn't all have to be built at once. And the last thing is it absolutely doesn't have to be perfect because your business will always evolve and your systems will always evolve with you as a result of that. Of course, having dropped in a very, very casual mention in there of my planning workshops, I would suggest to you that if you know systems are um, an undeveloped area of your business or a place of very untapped potential, um, then my planning days actually are a great way to help you with that. So if you head to my website, taylory.co.uk, you can find details of my next planning day on there and you can come along and join us and map out exactly what systems could help you completely streamline your business. How amazing would that be? Mm -hmm.